What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Got another backpack to look at. And this one kind of goes along with another video. Uh, this sp backpack specifically is from Vori. And this is their, it's classified as a Nintendo Switch case or backpack, uh, but it will hold some other items. So let's take a look at it here and see what all you get. Uh, so the backpack itself is, um, uh, I guess it's a polyester, I guess you could call it that. Um, it feels more almost like denim to me, but you can get the backpack in a couple of different colors. You can get it in black, the gray that I have here, and I believe they have another option, blue, I want to say, like navy blue. Um, but this is a backpack dedicated to carrying electronics. We'll say electronics. It is sold as a Nintendo Switch carry case, but it, there's so many options for this thing, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so pocket-wise, you get three main compartments, and then you get a, a little top compartment here. Uh, so let's take a look at the first one here on the front. Just a little kind of like fold-open pocket. It's hard to see in there. I can get the camera to see in there. So it's kind of like a little admin pouch, a couple little zipper pockets. Um, no, that's all that's in there, two zipper pockets. So you get a, a little bit larger one in the back that is uh, this kind of like, me or not mesh, but uh, like I call it backpack material. It's polyester, but it's that smooth, kind of plasticky feeling material. And then you get one in the front that's mesh. So that's the options for the front. There's not, not a ton of space and it's kind of hard to get to, but it's still a nice little pocket if you need to carry like an extra charger, some business cards, a pen, pencil, maybe even a little tablet. Um, so that's definitely an option there. And then you get the first main compartment here, just behind that. Zippers go a little more than halfway down and see if I can get it to fold down. So in here you get one zipper compartment uh, that goes not quite the whole way down. Probably covers about a quarter to half of the the depth of the depth of the bag. But this would be like for carrying a laptop. Um, it will hold a 15 inch laptop. So you know that's kind of your your laptop pocket there. The other thing that you can put down in here is a console. So if you're using this for a PlayStation, uh, so PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Slim, Xbox, Xbox One, or Xbox One, Xbox One X, 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, any of those kind of consoles, they will fit down in here. Now I don't know if it'll hold any of the new consoles. They're a little different shape, especially that new Xbox, whatever it is. Uh, Series X, I think. I don't play Xbox. That one would be a tight fit in here, but you might be able to get it to, to come down or to fit inside this bag. But the older consoles from the One X or the PlayStation 4 uh, will definitely fit down in here as, long, as well as a 15 inch laptop. So that's going to be your, your first big compartment. Now, right behind that, there is a, another zipper, and it's just a little top pocket here. And I'll pull the bag out so you can see. It's not, it's not big. This is the size of the pocket. Just stuff down in there. Um, that would be good if you need to hold cards that you need to access quick, cell phone, um, headphones, like if you have earbuds, you can throw them down in there. Um, a small digital camera would fit in there, sunglasses, things like that. So that would be an option for that top pocket. Now, moving on to the back here. So to access the main component compartment, you do have to flip the bag around. The zipper does run around, along the back edge. And this zipper goes almost the whole way to the bottom of the bag. Obviously the material on the inside is catching. 
There we go. So when you open the main compartment, the bag just kind of flops down. Uh, so here's that, uh, that bag up on top. So it does come into the main compartment. And then on this side, you have an elastic strap and you have another big pouch here. So another spot you can put a console or you can fit that laptop into if you don't want to put it in that front compartment, you want it a little closer to your back. So there is that nice big compartment here. It folds out real far. And then when you close it, it has a, uh, a little piece of Velcro there with an elastic strap to hold it down. Now looking at the back panel, the part that's actually where the shoulder straps are molded, it actually has a bunch of pockets here. Get the light to show it here. So you got a couple different pockets there and then you have the same matching ones. Uh, you have three down here and you have four up top. So like these smaller ones here would be perfect to fit a set of Joy-Cons in. Uh, the Nintendo Switch screen without the Joy-Cons on it fits in any of these pockets really. Definitely go with the bottom ones before you choose to put it in the top. Um, but each of the pockets is lined. They're padded and they're lined so that it's not going to scratch that screen up on any of your, your devices if you want to put a, um, a Nintendo Switch or a cell phone or anything like that in there. It's not going to scratch them up. It does have that nice padding and that softer felt, almost felt lining. Um, the bag itself, it's 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 actually a decent size, honestly. Like I wanted to get something for my wife, so if we go on vacation, um, we both have Nintendo Switches. We can put all of our accessories down in here and have one bag dedicated to just our console you know um so it and it does that we've we've tried it out it does fit both of our switches all of our joy cons a dock both docks technically um our mumba hard or shell like hard shell covers for on them you can put your extra case your carry cases in here so it use this to take everything with you and then when you get there switch over to like one of the little carry cases uh, outside of the bag, like I said, it's got that polyester covering on it. It does have a grab handle on top and two adjustable shoulder straps. So they are fully adjustable there. Um, the backing on it is mesh. So you have like a padded airflow back design. So it's got multi-panel uh, vented padding on the back and on the shoulder strap as well. Let's see here. So that's, I mean, that's really the overview of the bag. There's not a whole lot to it. Tons of compartments you can put, chargers you can put. Um, like I said, there's the PS4, the Xbox One, the Wii U, the Nintendo Switch obviously is what it's designed for. So you have a lot of options of what you can put in this thing. A 15 inch laptop, that's a big deal. If I can carry my Switch and a laptop the chargers and accessories for all of those. This is a nice little electronics kit. Um, now, it is gonna be a little bit on the pricier side. Um, for the size that this bag is, if I hold it beside me here, it's not huge. Um, my Go bags are about the same size. The one, I, my Molly bag that I keep in my car that we'll do a review on down the road here. Uh, it might be a tad bit taller, but not much. Um, I think it's cheaper than this. This thing runs $65.99 on Amazon. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the bag because when you get it, as you can see here, we haven't used it, so it's not even formed out yet. But when you get it, it's folded in half. It comes shipped like this in a bag. And they were saying it stretched out some of the zippers. Honestly, I mean, backfold the bag is what I would do. Once you actually put the components in this thing, I mean, as you can see, I just quickly backfo backfolded it and it's fine. Um, it holds its shape decently. The front flattened out 
like the day we got it. Um, and none of our zippers are stretched out. They all run just fine. I mean, I, I haven't seen a single problem with this item yet. The stitching on it's really good. It's reinforced. The padding's awesome. Like I said, I, especially carrying around, you know, a Nintendo Switch, it's $300. A 15 inch laptop, who knows, you know, they range what, 500 to $10,000 if you really wanted to pay a lot for one. I'm sure you get a 15, a 15 inch laptop for $10,000 nowadays. I'm sure you could. <laughs> um, I, I want it to be protected. You know, I'm gonna put it, I want it to have that padding, make sure it's not gonna get scratched or dinged or broken inside of a backpack, especially. And this does kind of help it if you, you know, just kind of set the bag down. It's not, it, it's got that extra little bit of padding to mitigate that drop. Um, obviously, if I take this thing and I start chucking it against the wall, things are going to break. But for your everyday use, it's definitely going to work out. So that's why we kind of wanted to get it. Like I said, going on vacation, that's going to give us one bag dedicated to our Nintendo Switches, to most of our electronics. I have a bag for my camera set up, so we don't need one for that. But everything else, we always end up throwing it in duffel bags or... Or something like that this is nice it gives you one bag to hold all of your your electronic needs per se so that is the vori nintendo switch backpack gaming backpack um, that's really all i got for it guys uh, if you like the video drop a like or hit the like button drop a comment in the comment section hit that subscribe button and the notifi notification bell that way you know when we're posting up any new videos here on the channel. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. All right, guys. Later.